Tomorrow is the day, our first alert weather day here in the Midlands as we are tracking rounds of gusty winds along with the potential for heavy rain and even a few thunderstorms can't be ruled out as this is a pretty potent cold front system that will be swinging into the Midlands and across much of the Palmetto State for our Sunday. So we just want to make sure you're being weather aware tomorrow as it's going to be during the peak times when many of us are wanting to be outside or during that late morning, early afternoon, and then even continuing through much of the evening. So it does look like it could be pretty much a wet day especially as we push into the second half of our Sunday. The Storm Prediction Center is also monitoring this very closely as it has pretty much the entire state of South Carolina up into North Carolina and Georgia in that marginal risk for severe level. This is the lowest level, just about a one out of a five, so it's not extremely likely, but still there's that very minimal chance. And what we're mainly looking at is wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, but a brief spin up tornado cannot be ruled out. So we'll be watching for that very closely tomorrow just to make sure things don't turn tornadic. But it does look like that looks to be on the low side. What we are expecting is a good soaking of rain for much of the region with rainfall routes over an inch now. So we're thinking a good soaking with this, which again is much needed due to the dry conditions we've had throughout much of the fall. So we could use a good soaking rain like that is expected. Today has been very warm. Temperatures for most of us got into the 70s, still hanging on the 70 for Columbia, Orangeburg and Allendale now where they've had some rain today in the upstate. It's been a little bit cooler. You can see temperatures down into the 50s as it's just 52 degrees right now in Greer. Here's a look at the satellite and radar showing those showers that did move through the upstate. We do have this brief little shower moving through Lexington County that could clip northern Richland County and move into Fairfield County, but most of the activity is dying out. We're mainly just looking at cloud cover for the rest of this evening. Big picture shows our front is back here producing severe weather, even some tornadoes out towards the Nashville area and still has a couple active tornado warnings on going. And then we got all these severe thunderstorm warnings extending behind that. So that's the system and that's going to be heading our way. Now, it does look like it'll be on a little bit of a weakening trend, but still we'll have to watch it a little bit closely for the potential for some severe weather. So you can see overnight there's a chance for a little bit of some light rain moving into the area, but it does look like a dry start to our Sunday. Clouds around a little breezy already, some gusts up to 20 miles per hour. As we head towards lunchtime, here's the initial line of some showers and even a few thunderstorms moving in. A couple of these again could be on the stronger side. You can see winds 25 to 30 miles per hour as that system's moving in. Then it kind of breaks up a little bit, but still have to watch this closely. Then just looking at scattered showers into the afternoon and then another round of some pretty steady, moderate to heavy rain by the time we push into the evening with the main front beginning to move through. As you can see the wind starting to turn out of the northwest behind it, but still gusting the 30 miles per hour. Most of this wrapping up by midnight and then we turn drier and cooler with lots of sunshine for our Monday. But for the rest of this evening, we'll call it a light rain late 60 degrees, so a few showers possible, but mainly staying dry tonight. And then tomorrow you can see throughout the entire day we are looking at that chance for some rain with temperatures getting back into the low 70s. So our first alert weather day for Sunday continues 100% chance for the rain and wind next week, though, looking dry with a good deal of sunshine, just a few more clouds later on in the week, but cool temperatures each and every day only in the 50s.